안녕하세요. 소소입니다. 감사합니다. It's been a while since I, I did one of these, right? Uh, what was it? No, well, Geo. That was the most recent one. Oh, man, but it still feels like I'm trying to get back into it. Okay. So, Young K, <clears throat> a member of Day6, uh, the bassist for the band, um, who's Day6, uh, you know, I'm also really just starting to get into their stuff but it's um it's a really interesting concept you know to have a sort of pop rock band uh that does a more familiar in the western sense like a of a, a rock band type of setup you know what they do uh what i did get a chance to hear already is of course it's really good right and um this most recent uh, release from Young K, I guess he's got a solo album, if I'm not mistaken, and this is one of the singles that um, is off of the album. And in this music video, uh, Tyon from Twice makes an appearance, and uh, uh, Day Six and Twice had debuted in the same year, right? So they're contemporaries, in other words. So without really having confirmed this, but like what I imagine or, or the way it would make sense is that they have known each other since the trainee days, you know. Um, it makes sense, right, for Tyon to appear in well really anything day six right but if she particularly was um acquainted well enough with with young k as one particular member it makes sense because tyon has um such a great y you know like technical level in music right she's a great instrumentalist she knows how to write uh she's it, like like it, it it makes the most sense, right? You know what I mean. Um, so this should be this should be fun. This should be cool, actually. You know, I think I don't. I've seen like little bits and pieces here, but I have been careful not to really like expose myself to the sound of anything. And I don't believe that she um, performs in this video. I think she just is acting in this video, which is not even the first time that she's done that. You know, she has appeared in um, other uh, videos before. Um, I mean, outside of the twice work, of course, is what I mean. Featuring in other other artists and other group uh, videos. So um, let's just uh, yeah, let's check it out, man. I think it should be I think it should be pretty cool.
man there were the, visually like there were this video uh concept it uh, reminded me of that um uh minho's uh chase um you know there's there's some similar uh things at play here as far as the uh uh, the visual, right, of what's going on in the video, um, uh, and, and even the song concept a little bit, although this song is like an 80s ballad type of a song, it really does remind me of that type of style, right, it's a very throwback type of uh, chord progression, most of our instrumental parts are like fairly straightforward it, it, it's um a lot of eighth note rhythms being used in the percussion and the rhythm parts we have uh drums bass guitar and a, i believe a little light keyboard sound in there uh but all of the instrument sounds are uh they're they're, they're kind of soft like there's a there's a delicate sort of quality to the song itself and each each element in the mix has a type of like measured softness to it right it's very sentimental the most sophisticated part is in the vocal melody this is where we get uh 16th note subdivisions um, a little bit of syncopation in there. There's some, there's some repeating phrase structure, some rhythmic patterns that, you know, are used in the pre-chorus and the hook parts that um, uh, I'll come back around. You know, I mean, it's like straight up 80s ballad, like very much so, very much so. Um, the kind of song that would you know have been uh, like at the end of uh, an 80s movie or something you know what I mean um, uh, and you can you know it's 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 uh, it's interesting to see uh, Tyan in in the video um, she's I mean it's Tyan right like she's so everything uh so it's it's very easy to 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 understand the concept of where the song is coming from especially because she's uh, representing uh you know the part of the concept in the the visual aspect right um you know why like it, it would be it would be hard to lose tie on right which is I was there, so for some of us who know already it's like much deeper it goes much deeper right in, in terms of the meaning uh but she, even if you don't like she's uh such a beautiful woman that it's just like oh man that's you know you, you can easily relate to the concept for sure uh because it is a little you know the the song itself is very sweet sounding the idea behind it is a little bit uh, like uh, bitterness, you know, like it, there's a not not uh, spiteful. I just mean it's one of those hard pill to swallow type of ideas, you know, the, the, the one that got away kind of, uh, you know, it's just taking off the ring. And then, you know, the we're getting memories, we're getting flashback sequences, right, because she's not actually there. You know, it, we get it at that sort of at the end, like he's sitting there by himself. That he's thinking in his mind about like everything that led up to that it's interesting though it's interesting though it's it's a definitely um it's just it's a simple tried and true concept it's something that everybody knows and everybody's seen before and um you know they just really try to express it uh, as best they can but opening shot and there's some ambient noise it's i wouldn't I wouldn't even call that like diegetic necessarily. It's, it's you know the sound of maybe air or you know something like that. But it, uh, but it's it, it's not really tied to anything directly. 
and then the chime sound the sort of shimmery chromaticism that's going on this is always used to um, uh, signal either a flashback sequence or like a sort of fantasy type of you know like a daydream or you know going into a dream or something like that but So right away the piano keys there that's going to give you your four count it's, it's straight up quarter notes one two three four and this uh, hangs around the chord progression is you know de very deliberate like because we're stay staying on e each chord for like two measures right and then it walks down ding dun ding right it goes on to the next chord takes an entire measure too uh, for that little arpeggio to walk down to the next chord in the progression and then you know, each one of these is like it, it, there's this uh, feeling of a very deliberate, you know, there's there's um, all the intention, right? The resolve. Uh, it's very it's very much captured in in uh, the chord progression because the pacing is, it, you know, it, it's it's not K-pop like th this. You know what I mean? This is very much a sort of rock ballad type of song. Uh, and and it's from the from the <laughs> compositional level like all the way up but uh, you, and you can count you know eighth notes and you can in the percussion one and two and three and four and uh, and even we got some rhythm guitar uh, part coming in here now uh, the ba I believe the bass is in but it, it's everything is straightforward right as there's it's somewhat detached um, I wouldn't call it like straight up staccato, right? But it's somewhat detached and, um, it, it, but a very deliberate pace. Like that, that's kind of the main emphasis. <laughs> So and also right from the beginning, <clears throat> the vocal melody establishes itself establishes itself as the the most um, uh, interesting part. Uh, it's got the most things going on rhythmically and dynamically. Um, you uh, is actually a really great example of creating a, a peak, a dynamic uh, sort of uh, high point, right? A, a, again, very deliberate, right? Listen to the way that that the arpeggio went up, da da da. Duh. like it and everything else is stable underneath it it doesn't you don't get a, a shift or a rise or change ups in uh what's going on in the mix underneath it's all the vocal it's it's like the vocals got all this space to move around and it does so but it's so like not, like restrained but deliberately so it's not as if something is keeping it restrained it's it's like focused it, it's it's very much controlled i guess it would be a better word again another peak right Sixteenth note subdivision now in the vocal melody, and this is working. So we've we've worked our way up to, you know, like the chorus section, right? The hook section. So now we're getting a more developed uh, uh, rhythmic structure. We're getting the sixteenth note subdivision uh, at this point, which feels. There's relief in that in and of itself because the whole uh, uh, pacing of this song, the the uh, hanging out for two measures on a chord, and then walking down with one measure, hanging out for another two measures, uh, sticking to eighth note rhythms. By the time it, it's like you, he wants to say 
everything. He wants to tell her everything and let her know everything that's going on. But he, you know, is trying to work up to being able to do that. And when we get to this point, it's like letting it all come out. Da 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 da. -da. Like the, we, you haven't heard rhythms like this yet in in the, in the first verse of the song. So now we're getting all of this movement now all of a sudden it gets much more interesting right because he's he's letting all of these things uh that he wants to say actually come out <laughs> So what are, like so the double stomp rhythms right in the whole the percussion and the rhythm part all of a sudden everything ties to that bump 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 this lets lets you know we're about to move out of the it's a punctuation mark it's like the end of my sentence it's this I've reached I've, it's the conclusion right of this little paragraph here um, but it's really nicely done there's um. Uh, you can uh, find you can achieve a resolution in a chord progression, but you can also do it rhythmically, and that's an example of how to do that. Is so we've had very deliberate pacing, and then our chorus section gets much more interesting, and we make it very concise towards the end with a little bit of a rhythmic device at work there with the double side bump 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 bump. Um, like and okay so that's it's been said now that 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 statement has reached its conclusion so now it feels a little bit even like uh, there's a little bit of desperation, right? The doubling in the vocal uh, part, and I'm not sure if he's got like a uh, accompaniment or if it's t two vocal uh, recordings that have been synced up together, right? It kind of stacked. The range feels higher this time. I, I'd have to go back and listen, but in the beginning, you know, it seemed like it, it, it was starting a little bit lower than this and then creating those peaks, right, with those little arpeggiations leading up to the end of the first verse. And now he is already sitting up a little bit higher. Like now he's up there and the, the way the, the vocal is doubled and that increase, that little rise in the register, right, gives a, a a sense of a little bit I'm, I'm getting a little bit more desperate now like i've i've worked up the nerve and i started letting all this stuff out and now I, i'm like uh, wait you know i i don't know what's going to happen but i'm a little bit there's a little bit of like a tension a little bit of desperation that's there the backing vocals right here you hear, you hear that? Ooh. It comes back again, I think, like, when we move out of this uh, verse, right? But it's really nice. It's just like a really nice harmony. Um, uh, it just... As a li it's a very narrow space in between the mix and, like, this sort of main vocal melody. But that little harmonization there, that little bitty arpeggio that's going on, is such a smooth way to use that space. Um, it's, quite, it's a very balanced mix. So So now eighth note rhythms in the guitar part, right? <clears throat> but it's uh, I'm hearing now the arpeggios that are going on. We're getting di da 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 di da da da. So the chords. Uh, the guitar part is arpeggiating over the chord that is, you know, is uh, is that it's on <clears throat> in the progression, and it's um, man, it's I almost wish the level was a little bit higher because it's a fantastic sound. It's really warm. Like it's in, right before this 
hooks part entered you heard that one note b it was really really high in its guitar part it's not quite singing like not quite crying not like you know hendrix style like you're making it cry or whatever but it's in it's definitely suggesting that and it's like like approaching hanging around that level um rhythmically it's very straightforward though like we're still hanging around eighth notes and and but it is doing this chord arpeggiation and it's a very what it's a really great sound and I, I i just wish it was a little bit higher in in uh volume right i just i, I want to hear it just a little bit more it's a really nice part <laughs> It's pan very far right. So that the guitar is busy on the right side. Piano uh, or keyboard sound is uh, hanging around the left side. Drums are, are pretty much balanced, right? As, as well as the vocal melody over the top of everything. Oh, right there is the bridge at the end of that uh, and then you hear this ooh, you hear that harmonization come back again it's really nice dude that's so good oh man that's that, that's a, that's such a that's very throwback man that that's like oh man i can't even you know it's like some hollow note stuff or something man it was, it was so smooth. Strings. Oh, I heard string arpeggios in the left. Very high left. Oh. Yep. For Tyon, yeah. Mhm. Mm like you get it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> for Tyon, yeah. There's you. You go through a lot, man. You'd go through a lot, for sure. But it's a, it's a. That's a very, a very wonderful take on that sort of 80s ballad type of style. It, the bridge section actually got very interesting. With, they had development um, with the string sound that was added in. Everything also went up to our, our whole, um, uh, you know, range shifted up in the mix. Not just in the vocal, but in the mix. Um, the bringing back also that was like that's that's the perfect spot to bring back that little vocal uh, harmony that's going on in the in the backing vocals as well. It it was so uh, see and 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 another example of how well balanced it is is you get that earlier in the second verse you hear it and it's kind of a little like oh what's what's that like it's a little. It's a little whisper. It's a little nod. It's a little like, oh, hey, it's something colorful right there. And then when we get to the bridge section, it's a callback to that, and it's it's kind of cool, man. Like it, it's a it's a great way to use that because uh, we have a fairly minimalistic type of uh, mix that's going on, and it's, there's such a deliberate pacing in the song itself, right? Um, sticking to eighth notes in our instrumental parts hanging around on on the chords for such a long period of time but it's all intentional it's not as if it's you know it, it is is um being it's like sort of dragged down or held back it's deliberate he's like trying to stand his ground and everything um and and then the most interesting 
part is going to be the vocal melody. And uh, he, could, he could sing, man. He could sing. It's like, you know, he's, he's uh, what, vocalist, bass player, and also uh, does rap parts in, in day six. Uh, but he's, he's very strong vocally, for sure. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure he wrote most, if not all, of this music for this song so um but it's it's extremely well balanced man uh, it really is and it gives this you know a uh, wonderful expression there's a there's a there's a great emotion behind it the sort of you know the way that the first verse it really shows like building up the that nerve like uh, there's something i want to say but you know i'm trying to like uh, I'm trying to work up the the courage to do it the way that the chorus is like just pouring everything out and just you know like not holding back and then the second verse it doesn't try it doesn't go back and do what the first verse did again it plays off of what the chorus accomplishes by increasing the sense of tension and the vocal gives uh indication of like some desperation like okay I've put it all out there I put, you know, my heart out there. Whoa, what's going to happen now? I'm like, I, I, uh, I'm looking for reciprocity. I'm looking for, the, I hope this goes well. Like, I hope this goes the way I, I imagined it going in my head, right? And, uh, and in the bridge section, what, it, what, what they do with the mix, um, developing it with, with string sounds and then that, harm, that vocal harmony callback, um, it's really nice it, it uh, adds that sentimental retrospective type of feeling you know to calling back to something earlier uh the strings adding a little bit of sweetness to the mix making everything kind of leaning leaning into that bittersweet type of thing you know it's a good uh, the love was really good but man now you know the uh, the time after that is like it's a, it's a low point you know uh, but really nice melodic lines in the vocal parts really really great peaks right um, the use of rhythm the uh, development of uh, uh, the rhythmic patterns from verse to chorus to bridge uh, at really very clever ways well what, what another one of these songs where it's like very sort of economical and getting a lot of value out of each you know chord out of each element in the mix out of each vocal line everything has a, a, a point to it and a, and, a, and a meaning to it and there's a value to it and so we don't let that we, we'll go to waste anywhere like we absolutely get the maximum value out of everything that's being uh, incorporated into the song and it's uh it's it's really cool man and it's cool to see uh tyon in it too man it's a uh, i want to check out the uh behind the scenes stuff actually let's see let me see if i can find that and then i can just tie it in to um there's the teaser but was there i could have sworn there was like a sort of behind the scenes uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Where's uh, Young K? Young K? No, there's only the teaser, right? Well, heck it. Many of those, sh like the shots at the table, uh, have that diffused light that's going on, so uh, things look a little bit hazy, a little bit blurry. Uh, another indication of that, that dream type of setting, like this is something, this is a memory, this is something that I'm, uh, 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 you know, looking back on, it, right? It's not happening like in the present, uh, but lots of elements that 
are used for that. I, I, man, I remember seeing something over where they were, you know, behind the scenes, like uh, while they were filming the uh, video. I don't know. If I can find it, I'll, I'll incorporate it into uh, maybe like a reacting for once video or something. But Young K, uh, nothing but, nothing but. It's, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a cool sort of throwback uh, ballady type of uh, song. Have it, it's almost, you know, Day Six is one of the, it's like you don't really hear these sounds anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, this, they they uh, uh, are are using a lot a lot of sounds um, that just aren't really that common uh, anymore. They they were in the past, but you know they're the ones who are doing it now. Um, but it's good. It was good. It was great to see Tyan and some of her acting uh, skills, and so that was fun. I have to check out more. I have to check out more day six for sure, and then you know we can because uh, there's plenty of stuff off of Young K, you know, let it be summer. Uh, that, you know he's he's uh, been busy. <laughs> he's been busy, so we'll check some more of that stuff out. But this was Young K, nothing but, uh, with special guest star, Tyon in the video. That was that was really nice. <laughs> 